where well, we're located here in Northern California. This is what our water meter boxes look like. And if you look here, it actually says the word water. The little black deal on there indicates that they're electronic. So they're read through. That's a battery pack associated with that. And that's a receiver unit, or excuse me, a transmitter unit. And it transmits so when the truck drives by, it tells them that it's sending. And it also tells them what your amount of water is that you use every month. Hence the water bill you get every month if you're on a water meter. So if you're trying to take one of these off, I'll try to do this carefully and still video. I usually lift the flap and then pick the whole lid up off of there and set it to the side just like that. Video of what your water meter should look like. Notice there's a black line on it sitting just to the left. So the little red circle almost around the midnight position on the dial. Notice that red uh, dial with a black line. There's no movement on that at all. And there's no movement on the numbers. That's how it should look if there's no water flowing. You can see there's very little movement of water. And now we're going to see if that translates to movement on the meter, even that slight little trickle of water. So if you had a bad valve or a running toilet or a cracked pipe somewhere on your property, that's one of the ways you would uh, know about how much flow it takes to move a meter. Okay, so that slight little bit of flow, we can see right here if we look, that black line, it is moving, even with that little bit of flow, that's all it takes. So you can see the nine on the far right here is gradually beginning to move out of view. It's gonna bring up a zero, and then the zero to the left of that is gonna begin to tumble over. You can see that starting to happen here. There's an indication of flow of water somewhere on your property, and it could be even as minuscule. It's a small leak like that. So imagine if it's summertime, there's just a little leak like that in your valve or your toilet, how it can change your water meter over and over again. So there you can see all the numbers changing. So one of the quick ways you can check, if everything's off in your house and you've got the meter moving like this, the little red circle, sometimes that instead of a red circle, it's a little black spinny thing or a blue spinny thing. If that's spinning at all, and these numbers start tumbling. And if you have a digital display, those numbers will still in, be indicated in a digital form. So if you see any movement, got a leak somewhere on the property. First thing you would do is shut the water off to the house where the garage is, just for the house. If you have a separate shut off for irrigation, you could turn that off first. If it stops it, then you know the problems on the irrigation side between the shut off and the valves. If that didn't do it, you could always turn off the shut off to the house. If that does it, that means you need to get some leak detection done on your house. So today, our goal was to show you how to tell if you have a leak on your water meter and what a water meter looks like. Ours here are down in boxes down in the ground. And this is in sunny California here in October, believe it or not. So anyhow, hopefully you found that useful. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Share the video to your friends. It also enters you, if you do, uh, you'll be entered into our monthly drawing for giveaways. So the more people you share with, the better your odds of winning. And we'll do another quick video here shortly to discuss what we're giving away this month.